Hey YouTube, today I'm going to change the colour of my Segway. Uh, I got given some panels by Entertainment Box, some red ones, they look quite cool. Because my one is a bit broken, if you can see here, it has no panel at all. So I kind of need to change it, it'd be nice to change it as well. So have a nice red one, a new fresh one to go out on. Have some new videos come in as well. Right, let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, you wanna do, you wanna undo all the screws on the underneath of the thing. There should be 16 screws, four on each side. Um, so yeah, just unscrew all 16 screws. Once they're all out, take the panels off and they will be attached via a cable, so be careful. This one's a bit twisted, so I'm just gonna untwist that so the cable's a bit more loose. Okay, so if you can, as you can see on this side, I'll move it apart, I don't matter if the bolts drop, but on this side, on this side, there's two cables here that's holding in the light. So there's one cable here from here to the holding in the light. So you want to unclip this. Okay, that one's unclipped. The other one is for the power button and the charger. You also want to unclip them too. This one is a bit dodgy to get to. I'm going to unclip this one first. Hey, right, one more to get out. This one's a tricky one. Oh, grasp it. Okay, I got it. Right, you want to take this one out also. So that's them three off. You want to do the same on the other side, so you want to take this off. This one's connected by one cable, which is just a light. So for this one, you can see that there, this just here, this one, you want to take that out. Okay. Oh, all the screws have dropped. Okay, so now we are left with an open segue. Okay, so the next load of screws you want to take out after you've removed that is this one, the bottom base one. So they are here, here. Here, 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 and there's two down the side, which are a little bit tricky. Right down the corner. And then you want to do the same on the other side, but I'm just going to do this side first to show you, and then I'll switch over to the other side, show you where the other bolts are. That's that side done. I'm gonna switch over to the other side. Okay, so we switch sides, and the bolts you wanna take out for this side are this one, this one, the two near the wheel again, the struggle, this one here, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so they're the bolts you wanna take out. Now we've got all them screws out, unclip this cable here, the one with the three color, the four colors. It has a black, purple, a white, and a red connecting into this middle bit here. So you want to remove this one. 
and this one here, the one is black, purple and red and this one leads over here, you want to disconnect both of these two Unravel this cable. Be careful to not knock any other cables. All right, so that one's loose. Now we undo this one. Easy peasy. All right, un unravel that one. Okay, once we've done this, flip the Segway over and remove these panels here. Carefully push the pressure pad in and pull away from the casing, but be careful of the cable attached. So, as you lift it, you want to make sure this cable runs freely through this hole here and comes through here. Careful because the hole is fairly small. You want to take that from there, move that side, take the other side off, press the pressure pad in, be careful of the cable again. Through there, as you can see this one is badly broken, snapped up but battered. Right, you want to keep these because we need these bits here to attach to the new one. Right, now these bits are off, these two panels, you want to unclip this thing, so I'd get a thin screwdriver or a knife or something just to shove in there. Be careful when you're doing it. Pick that one off. Uh, do the other one. Give me a little... Pop that off. Right. Once they're both off, you want to carefully remove this sticky tape. So kind of peel underneath it, try not to do any damage to that. Yeah, once that's off, you want to get the new one, a new piece. I'll lay that on top and I'll just carefully place this on. That one's on. Carefully peel this one off. Place that one on. Be careful when doing this. You want to get the get the clippy bits. Clip them back on. Make sure they're nice and firmly on. Oh, put that back in first, and then pop that in. This one wants to go in, there you go. Right, now to reassemble. Right, now the next step is to remove the charger and the power cables from this base plate. And to do so, we need to remove these washers in here and here with a spanner. So you should just have to give it one little turn and it should screw off. Yep. Got that. All right, so now you want to be careful when removing this washer from this cable. Because you don't want to mess up the cable, so you want to push it away from it, pull it in, push through, like so. Take that off, be very careful with that. Then you want to push the charger cable through. So it comes through the hole like so, then you want to remove this little thing here, give it a little, pull the cables out, all 
All right, get the cables out of there. And then pull this through here. Like so. So that's that one out. There's no, no cable there. So you put that washer back on here. Where's that little one? Make sure you don't lose this little one. Put that back on through the cables. Then leave that side. Put this back on here. Actually, wait, don't put that back on yet. Take this one off. So you want to remove this one. This one you may need a smaller size spanner for. Yep. Give it a little spin off. You can see that. Off this cable here. This one should be a bit easier because it's smaller. Set that aside. Make sure you don't get mixed up. You want to get this, push this through. Pull this cable out. Be careful. Well, that one's a bit easier. Now you're left with no cables in here, just the lights. But the lights you have to do with a hot glue gun, so I'm going to go do them. Okay. I've securely fitted both of the lights in with the glue gun. I may have used a bit too much glue, but that doesn't really matter, to be honest, at this point. So we're going to rewire this. First of all, you want to get the power button and you want to put this on the left hole facing us. Just put that through there. Place that one in there nicely. So that is the left hole facing the end of the segment. Then you want to get this washer. You want to place this washer on top. Let that drop. Screw that on to nice and tight. You do want to use the spanner again to re-tighten this, so get the spanner back out. Get a nice little tighten. Okay, that one should be secure. Don't wobble, that's perfect. So that one is now fitted in place in working order. We want to get the next power cable, I mean the charger cable. Want to put this through the other hole. Be careful when I'm putting this into this hole because the hole could be a bit too big, a little bit big. So you want to carefully get this through. There you go, push it through like so. Feed the cable through. Clamp that in. Don't forget this little washer here. You want to put this little washer on first. So I'm going to put that over this cable. Push that over there. Thread that on. That goes on and acts as a washer for this one. So now we need to get this bit on. This cable, this bit on. So let's try. This bit is quite hard. Be careful of the cable when you're doing this. You don't want to ruin any any of the cable. Right, now that's on. We want to make sure that washer's on properly. And then fully tighten this. Make sure you use the spanner again. Okay, that's nice and secure. Now we've got our cables in. Let's fix the rest. Right, now we want to put the first plate on. So the first thing we do, we need to make sure it's the right side. So we need to make sure that if you flip it over, you see the side with most cables, the most cables the side without the battery pack. The one with the light with the uh, battery pack should go on the left hand side. So you want to place this cable through this hole here on the 
back end of it here. Place that through nicely. Place the finger, place the plate over the top. Make sure the pressure pads are in nice. Nice and freely. Then you want to clip, clip it down. Like so. You may have to press quite firmly to do so, so don't be scared. Get that last clip in. There we go. Right, that one's done. Now we're going to put the other side on. Same again, place the cable through the little hole on the side. Pull the whole plate down. Now we're going to clip them in again. Again, don't be scared to press firm. And if the pressure pads get stuck underneath, just pull it back up. Pull the pressure pads from underneath. And re-clip down. That's it. Okay, once you've securely pressed the plates on, you want to take the cables, place it underneath these underneath these two black ones here, pull it across and plug it into the far one closest to us, the four pin one. Not the three pin one, the four pin one. Make sure that it's securely pressed down. And you want to do that same on the other side. So underneath this, through into the four pin one again. So the furthest away from you on this side. And you want to press that in securely and firmly. Right. The next step is to screw the base of this plate onto the red frame with the with the screws we took out second. So we want to put these in carefully. Once all the screws have been put in and are in place, you want to take to the, the right hand side, so you want to take the one with the charger and the power cable, and you want to reconnect the cables, so the power cable will go in the littlest hole closest to where I am, so put that in. Make sure these clip in properly because otherwise the segue might not work properly when you turn it on. And be careful when doing so. Make sure you get it the right way round. There you go. Alright, so now we can put this one. We want to put in. I should put most of them this one. So we're going to put in the harder one, so we're going to put in the charger cable, and this one goes underneath, in here. Okay, so we're going to fiddle to get this one in. Right, 
make sure that it is yet again securely in place. Sorry, I can't see from this angle. nice and secure now lastly we want to input the flat the light and this goes into the three pin one next to next to this one we put in before the first one so clip that in securely and then place the cover making sure all the cables are secure inside then we shall clip that into place a little bit Like so, then we want to take the other back panel, we want to unplug the light, so there's only one cable for this one and there's only one free pin next to the first one we've done, then we plug that one in, make sure that's nice and secure, then place the plate down, make it secure, just making sure all cables are secure, everything is safe. Then we'll Lid on that. Once all the screws are firmly in place, you want to flip the segue over, turn it on, and we have liftoff.